All right, so smaller crowds this afternoon, which was expected. Expect you know more people to be in the evening. Um, but just want to welcome you to the um, to the HealthQuest Indoor Try. Um, kind of first big event we're you know having here. First big challenge coming out of uh, coming out of the COVID closure and everything. So it's nice to see everyone participating, um, jumping in, you know, taking on a challenge to start the new year. Um, so we're excited about this. This has gotten good reviews when we've run it in the past in terms of people having fun. It's a great way to uh, to tackle something in the new year. So we appreciate you being here. Um, just wanted to introduce real quick the race boxes that you got. Um, those are complete and um, given to us by our partners um, at Athleta Freak. It's kind of a new, their new clothing company that's starting up, kind of positioned like a Lululemon or something like that with some high quality athletic apparel and clothing. Um, so they were kind enough to kind of work with us, um, you know, donate some stuff for, for our racers and get us started. Um, also inside the box, you'll find a little gift from Basil Bandwagon, who also helped participate. Um, and some stuff in there that um, Marion and Linda will go over with you, um, you know, pertinent to the tri training and, and kind of some kind of some items from there. Um, so once they're once they're going through, if you have questions or anything like that, may pop up. Um, kind of let them go through, but we can kind of have it be you know informal and talkative. Um, Marion and Linda would just ask that if you get asked a question, if you could just repeat it for the cameras just so we have it on live just so people that aren't here today can catch up with that on uh, on Facebook with us afterwards. Um, so just just introduce some folks in the room that you'll recognize around the club and can kind of help you um, through the training as we go. Um, Marion here, she runs our Health Club Running Club. Um, she's going to be helping out a lot with, um, with the indoor try and training and stuff like that. Great resource. Um, if you haven't heard of Running Club, she can talk through that a little bit. You know, you can ask her questions with that. Um, Daryl in the back manning the camera there is in marketing. So a lot of materials you see and stuff like that, he's taking care of for us. Um, he'll be uh, he'll be helping with um, you know he'll be helping with keeping us up to date on stuff you see around the club and, and training plans and stuff like that. Um, Lisa Carlson right there is our general manager here at HealthQuest. So another good point person. If you have, uh, have questions, things come up, you know, a face to remember. So go, Linda Romaine in the back, our group fitness director. Um, you know, she'll be she'll be helping out with a lot. She helps out with a lot of the challenges and stuff like that throughout group fitness. Um, and then Chelsea Salisbury in the back there. Um, that's our fitness center director. Um, so Chelsea will be down in the fitness center. If you're running treadmills, other questions, fitness related stuff like that, um, you always see Chelsea downstairs. You can always ask uh, ask questions and get a get a helpful point of hand. Um, and my name is Brian Comerford. I'm the assistant GM here, um, and you know helping out with a, a lot of the dry stuff as well, and keeping things moving on race day and stuff like that. So see me around, but just so you have uh, an idea of everyone in the room here. Um, with that, turn it over to Marion, who's going to take you through some of the um, the training plan terminology, um, give you a familiarity with uh, with what you're going to be seeing in the training plans and, and where we go through. So. Floor. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Congratulations. You are about to embark on an eight week journey to indoor trail. Fantastic. Yay. Come on. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brian, again, and everybody else for helping put this together and getting so many participants this year um, post COVID. So it's fantastic. Um, so, this indoor try is meant to be fun. Um, it's also here to kind of eliminate some of the anxieties people have about outdoor elements, right? So it kind of brings you inside a little bit more control, warmer in the pool, you know, that sort of thing. So it's kind of fun to start here. Again, if you've never done a triathlon before, if you've done them, this is just, it's just icing on cake, right? So what we're going to do here is go over the race information, which again, you're going to have everything in your packet, in your box that you've gotten. Um, the training plan you'll have in there is based off of beginner intermediate. So if you're brand new to the triathlon, um, this is good for you. It's also good for people who've already done them before, even indoor, outdoor. It's a great training plan. So to go over the actual race, race day. The swim is 500 meters. That is 20 laps in the pool. So it's a 25 meter down, 25 meter back. 
So 20 laps in the pool, just so you understand. From there, you're going to have 10 minutes, which is actually a whole lot of time, to get from the pool to the spin room up here. Um, we will have a seminar actually on transitions that will help you out. Um, but 10 minutes, we're allowing you to get from the pool to the spin room. From the spin room, in the spin room, you have 13 miles to complete um, the bike. We will have a seminar on that as well. I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, and then you will have five minutes from the spin down to the treadmills um, downstairs. Five minutes. Plenty of time because really you don't have a whole lot to do from the bike to the run. And then that's it. So each segment will be added together and that will be your total time. And that's how we figure out who is actually going to be the fastest. There are medals given to the top three females, top three males. Um, and but everybody's a winner. Ever, of course, everyone is a winner. I mean, this is fantastic. What a great way to start out your year, right? Having great goals, being committed to something like this, which I think is fantastic. Um, so we do have this eight-week training plan that has been set up specifically for you. This is a sample. So I just kind of want to go over a little bit with you if you haven't seen this before. It is in your box. Um, but each week, you're going to get a page like this. And you'll have workouts. There's five of them. So we ask that you commit to five days a week of training at, at the very least. Um, so each month, here's your first workout, and it has you swim, cycle, and run. So here's your first workout. Set one for swimming 500 meters, and then run one mile. And at the bottom down here, you have swim sets. So it's going to show you here, swim set, what you're going to do in that first swim set. Workout number one, 500 meters. So it's going to tell you 30 second rest between intervals, 100 meter warm up, four times 50 meters, four times 25 meters, and 100 meter cool down. Now, on top of that, we have swim drills. So the swim drills are actually located here. So this will tell you which swim drill that you should be performing that particular week. So this swim drill is catch up. Do you have any idea what a catch up is? Probably not, if you've never done these before. We have them on our Facebook page, and we'll talk about that later as well. On the Facebook page, it will go over with videos set up, thank you very much, Daryl, um, as to what a catch up is, okay? This will also be located down in the pool, as well as in front of the um, spin studio. So for some reason, you've forgotten your handy dandy little Sheet here, this will also be posted. Okie dokie. Um, so all of the resources will be at your disposal. We will have everyone around here to help you if you need it. Um, so again, this is basically the, the overview of your training plan. And again, if you have questions, reach out. Reach out to any of us with any questions that you have or the Facebook page, you can ask questions there as well. Um, over to your right, is the Borg scale, which I'm going to have Linda come on up and kind of briefly go over what the Borg scale is so you understand what that means for each This is Linda. So these are, just so you know, you have these little, it's in here, you don't have to carry this big one. <laughs> it's in here, and Daryl's fantastic. I think you see. So you have this, but like you're saying, it's going to be posted too. So we're going to have you work up using a Borg scale. A Borg scale is um, perceived exertion. So you can measure your heart rate. And it's not actually good to look at your heart rate. If you have a heart rate monitor, most of the you know, watches or things, that's a good thing. But we don't want you to have to do calculations. What you want to do is you want to look at, um, there is a Borg scale in the back of your book. Back up here. That explains to you what each one feels like. So if you look at the higher end, it's from 6 to 20 when they originally did the Borg scale. It sort of matched heart rates. So you don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is if you look at um, 20, it's going to be stop exercising, you're in total exhaustion. So we're not going to ask you to do that. <laughs> but what you want to look at is you don't want every single workout to be a, a, a 16, 17, right? You don't need that. Your body needs to train different ways. It needs to train for endurance, it needs to train for power, it needs to train for different things. So they'll have you on here saying, 
Well, we only want you 11 to 14 for a compare. Now, using the Borg scale, using perceived exertion, you're going to notice things that happen in your body when you're exercising. So what happens when you start working out and you start working out hard? You're breathing heavy, maybe sweating, or so maybe you get pain, <laughs> no pain. So there's um, things on here that you can look at. Increased heart rate, increased breathing uh, um, rate, sweating, those kind of factors you're going to look at. You'll get to know yourself, and you, if you're conscious of it, you can actually look and see what your heart rate is and say, okay, they want me to do one that's 14 to 16. That's a tough workout. So think about how you feel, and maybe you can only do it for a couple of minutes and you go, okay, I'm exhausted. As you go through your training, you might be able to do that for a moment. That's what training does for you. So your perceived exertion is going to be noticing how you feel and maybe sometimes pull it back a little bit to go a little bit longer to train your endurance. And then on days where they want you to push and get your power or your, to get higher levels of training, you're going to notice what that feels like. Because in the end, and we completed triathlon, I haven't done a full triathlon, on the biathlon part of it, but it's a day where you push, if you're trying to win, you're going to be trying to be at the higher levels for as long as you possibly can. But you have to get there. So we want you to come in on the day of your training day, I mean your race day, and be able to perform the best that you can at the highest levels you can because you've trained over the, the um, several weeks you're training, because you trained over those weeks to make yourself stronger. Okay? So any questions, this Borg scale, he does have um, a link you could just go to um, and read about it, understand it. But the big thing is to not be afraid to ask questions and to think about how you feel. And if, again, if you're looking at your heart rate, you're going, oh my gosh, it used to be 150 beats per minute. It was killing me. And now I've been training for three weeks and now it's much easier. I do it in the skin all the time. I was like, oh. I, any questions on any of that stuff, we can always answer them. Um, Chelsea's a resource. You can always answer them. So feel free. All right, thank you. Uh, I did forget to add, um, Daryl, we have this handy dandy little sheet, which is also in your fun box <coughs> of the swim drills that are kind of lined out for you. And there is a scan down here, so if you do want to look at those videos, you can scan that. Um, you can bring this with you when you swim. Oh, on top of that, let me tell you, when you have your cool little training plan, you want to bring it with you to swim. You may want to put it in a baggie. Just a little tip, <laughs> little, like a little plastic bag, because when I, when I did the first one, mine came out all crazy, because I kept putting it down in the water. So, or the humidity. Or the humidity yeah. in there, because right? it can get toasty. So, just a little tip, maybe go out and get some baggies, dollar store, fantastic. Um, so, a lot of resources here. One other thing that I thought was fantastic that Daryl did is, at the top, actually, look at your colors. If you look, this color is a green color. If you look at another page, there's another page that is blue color. Because sometimes you'll bring it in, and I know I was doing this. I'm like, wait, am I this one or this one? Think about, okay, this week I'm green week. I'm a green week this week. Okay, wait, no, I'm a blue week this week. So it kind of gives you a little hint. I love that job. Thank you. He's fantastic. It's me. All right. So really... Think about committing yourself to this training plan, really focusing on it, because the more you're committed to this and the more that you focus, the better you're going to do, the better you're going to feel, the more prepared you're going to be. So we really advise you to do that. Um, so you are going to sweat, you're going to breathe hard, you're going to get tired, but you're going to be able to do this. It is fantastic. I love that you've all signed up. I love it. All right. So, in addition to that, we have five seminars set up for you. Five. Each week, um, as of right now, they're set up on Wednesdays. Um, so our first one is actually this week with Sandy, who is fantastic. If you don't know Sandy, I'm sure you've seen her in the pool. Um, she has, she swam around the Key West, Key West, West right? Um, phenomenal swimmer. She's also one of our lifeguards. Yeah. Um, so she's going to do our swimming seminar. And again, we're going to have them during the day as well as at night for people who can't make it either one time or another. And uh, we'll be recording them all to the best of our ability, too, to put those on Facebook and stuff. So if you can't make it to one or a time doesn't work out for you just with scheduling that we had on our end, you can always play it back later and kind of watch what went on, the questions and answers that happened. So everything's coming. Yeah. 
Um, the week after that, we are going to have a spin seminar that is held by um, Scott. He is phenomenal. If you have not taken a Scott class, you need to. He's amazing. Amazing spin instructor. Um, so he will go over, you know, sitting on the bike, your settings, things like that. If you're not 100% sure about everything on the bike, and you could always ask any of the spin instructors as well. Um, the week after that, you will have your running seminar, which will be held by me. Um, again, it will be on a Wednesday in the morning as well as at night. And we'll go over your running gait, how you place your foot. We'll go over shoes, like the right shoes to wear, running shoes, where to go to get shoes, that sort of thing. Uh, the week after that, we will have a transition seminar, which I will also do. Um, as of right now, the transitions are not counted in towards your total time, but it's really good to know how to efficiently get out of your swimsuit into your spin outfit and that sort of thing. How to set up your locker, where you want to set your things up. It's really good to know that, especially if you are going to an outdoor try, which we're kind of hoping that you would commit to one afterwards. Um, but it's good to know that there's a lot. It's actually the fourth sport of triathlon. So after that is our nutrition seminar, which will kind of help you talk about what sorts of things you should be eating and maybe not eating and when to eat and that sort of thing. Um, that is by Julia. Uh, so she's downstairs with Chelsea. We are going to have, in addition to all that fun stuff, we're going to have addition of brick workouts. If you don't know what a brick workout is, that means you go from one right to the next brick workouts. So you go right from the spin room onto the track or right from the spin room right to the treadmill. Um, so we're going to try and add those on maybe Fridays or Saturdays. Again, we'll be posting in that Facebook page, so really take a look to check it out to see when we're going to have those. But it's really good to get that feeling of going from the bike to right on that treadmill. Your legs are going to feel a little funky when you go from one to the other. So we'll have those uh, brick workouts for you as well. On top of that, can we have any more extras? Complimentary Pilates. Yes, Pilates is phenomenal. Core work, stretching, really good for everything you're doing within this triathlon. So it's really good to go down there, check it out, and it's free. You're welcome. <laughs> and on top of that, we also have small group training. So you can always see Chelsea downstairs to help you out. Again, building muscle, really important, again, to help you through this triathlon. So, you can see Chelsea or any of the trainers down there to go over that as well. So, in addition to that, we ask that you can come and take some spin classes. A ton of them we have all day long. We have them at night, whenever you need. Again, asking questions to our spin instructors. Um, we do ask that you sign up for Performance IQ if you have not already done it. I'm not sure where it is. There is actually another Scantron inside your box that you can look um, up and sign up. It takes like a minute. You put in your information, your sex, your weight, your age. And then once you go into the spin room, you can actually assign yourself your own um, bike ahead of time. And you will get results back within four minutes after class based on your metrics, based on you. So it's really important to do that. I think we may be setting it up for race day to get the, the specific metrics that you will need just for you. Because everyone's going to be different, right? Maybe not the same way. So make sure we do that. That should be in your box. Um, if you guys need, sorry to interrupt you there, yes. but if you're not on an EGIQ and you need to get set up on that, you can use the Facebook page. Any of our instructors know how to do both. We can marry or I can meet you at any time during the day and set you up on there and show you how to do it because it gives you a phenomenal training tool because it keeps track of everything for you. You can go back and look at it and see what you've done. So it's a really good training tool. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you, Mother. Um, also, Run Clubs is on Wednesdays. If you would like to come, so I do the Run Club on Wednesdays at 9.30. 
we pick a spot somewhere outside close to HealthQuest. So I invite you to come. It's a great group of people. They like to talk a lot. Um, but it's usually about a one mile loop or an out and back. So it's not intimidating. Um, it's all cases. So uh, that will also be posted on the Facebook page. So we invite you to do that. Um, Facebook page, if you are not already on it, HQ and or try 2022. All of your information will be on there. Um, when things are coming up, all of our seminars, extras, please sign up. If you're not on Facebook, reach out to us. But again, everything should be in your box. Um, updates for classes and tips and all kinds of things. Questions? Yes. Uh, I have three questions, actually. I'm oh. sorry I came late. Sorry. That's right. Um, work. So it always gets in the way. <laughs> Work's always in the way. <laughs> Um, so I know you, you said you're doing the seminars. Um, do you have like a group swim or like a training swim where we're actually like swimming together or, I mean, is there any, you, you said that there's a seminar. I assume it's somebody just talking and we're sitting listening for the swim part. No, you're actually going to We're actually going, going to be swimming. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. That wasn't yeah. clear. I wasn't sure about that. Yes. Um, and then my second question was, um, the, uh, the HQ or whatever, the sign up thing. When I did spin, they saw me on the board. Does that mean that I'm signed up for the... So you will be on the... You mean you signed up like... Well, what is it that you said that you wanted us to sign up to... to performance. Performance, yeah. Yes. So when I went to spin class, they would see me on the board. They said I was signed up. Is that what that is? That's what that is. Yes. Oh. So if your name is... Yeah, on that, was. Yes, then you are signed up. Then I am signed yeah. up. And okay. you should be getting emails about Oh, I may, okay. I get a lot of emails, so I'll have to After you take the class. After you take the class. It should pop Yeah, up. yeah, I have that. So yeah. that means that so that's that you are signed, signed up. up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the seminars are, we're actually doing, like the spin seminar, we're actually going to do spin class. I or, think he's going to put you on the bike. Okay. And probably go through some. I don't know if you're going to do a full class. Oh, okay. But probably go over, you know, how you're fitting on the bike and things like that, where you're you know, where all your settings should be. Okay. So, but yes, yeah, you should come in proper attire. Yeah. And then when we, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, was, I think I was most interested in the swim because that's like my weakest. And, and that's for so most people. That's just like a one-time thing and then we just do it on our own according to the what the calendar says. Correct. Do, right? Okay. But, however, okay. I remember last time people would say, hey, I'm going, I'm going to the pool on Friday at such and such time. Does anyone want to come, anyone want to come with me? Yeah. Or, okay. you know, kind of have, yeah. maybe find a partner. Or helps. Or someone, <laughs> you know, to have somebody else to, to do that. Can they use the Facebook page for that? Yeah, so I said, yeah. So I said, to talk to page. each other and try to get groups of people to go do things together. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to check that out to see, you know, what people are going to pay. Okay. Got so, it. Yeah. Cool. Great questions. Any other? I had one more, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I got all excited that I had a question. Post on the Facebook page. You got it. <laughs> Any other questions? So I came late. That's How many people have enrolled in this competition? As of right now, we have about 46 Whoa. people. So it's a, it's a good amount, <laughs> especially post-COVID. Um, yeah. And there'll be some more sign-ups probably in the next couple of weeks, too. Yeah. That tends to happen the first couple of weeks of training. So. Yes. And there are teams too, so yeah, there's a few teams signed up. Yep. Just, a, just a few people are splitting the split the events. Yes, yes. Any questions? So I'm very, uh, I'm to be honest, like I'm very scared. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's just a big part. Uh, for me, that's my default, and so I have maybe I should do my right to force me to do something. Yes, and just show up. But I would like, like she mentioned, like it would be nice to have like some kind of a group thing. And I'm new in this yeah. area, this gym. So it's nice to just meet new people and have like something like a group. If there's a motivation, I can just follow. Yeah, we can try and set something yeah, like that I up think at a should. specific time and maybe it won't work around that. And once we know the people, then we can coordinate among ourselves. But it's a nice to just yeah. push. Yes, I 100% agree. I love that you signed up, even if you were a little scared. I'm going to be honest, my first triathlon in 2007. I was deathly afraid of getting in the water. I'm going to tell you it was not, uh, still not my favorite part, but it's good to get over that. And what's great is 
being in the pool is not as intimidating as being in an open water swim. Um, so it kind of gets you used to your swim strokes and feeling more comfortable. Once you start training, you are really going to like it. But I think I agree. You should post on Facebook page and maybe get groups of people together. I'll even go in with you guys and, you know, watch or motivate whatever you guys need to do. So... I agree. So it's usually the so hard to get in the pool when it's like and when it's it's freezing out. outside. I it's agree. just mental. I don't yes. know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it is very warm in there. So. Oh, I know it is. I know. <laughs> it just doesn't change the way I, I feel. And I still have to get changed every day. So yes, I agree. But congratulations. Any other questions? Yes. Um, do you recommend any clothing? Because I, I was just doing a lot of research, and they said that there are some pieces of clothing that are recommended for like smooth transition from swim to bike or if you have any recommendation maybe yeah, for yep and again we'll go over a lot of that during the seminars but for right now um there are things called tri-suits um which you can invest in sometimes they're two piece sometimes it's a one piece i always wore a one piece because it was just easy um then you went from one thing to the other without even having to worry about transition times it's really when you're doing an outdoor try your transition time counts so you want to be as efficient as you possibly can to go from one to the other. Uh, so a tri suit is perfect because you don't have to change. I, last last time, if we have the same times, so you gave us plenty of time to change before we went on the bike. So you it's want us minutes. on the bike sweat? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you want us to change. Yeah. So we don't really need a tri suit. You don't need one, but if you want one, you can. Oh, I, I was just yeah, yeah. No, I mean I was just saying because that would mean that we would go into the other room and sweat. Well, we're going to try and get you as long as you want to Okay. But. <laughs> it's like, okay. Because oh, I'm yeah. thinking, like, you really want us to change. We, re- we would like you to change, but you don't have to. If you can okay. get, I mean, you have sure. 10 minutes in between yeah. the swim and the right. flight. So you do have enough time to change. Time. But if you are thinking about doing an outdoor try, it is to it is something that you would want to talk about. Um. Because 10 minutes is a lot of time. I took a shower, I remember. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you making short that time? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a long time. Um, so yeah, like, that's a quick shower. It was. Like, really I was very proud of it. <laughs> it was very quick. For me, it was very quick. <laughs> but yeah, we will go over, you know, things that you can wear more efficient, um, you know, like not wearing cotton socks. You know, things like that during the seminar. So yeah. you take those. Well, for sure. Yeah. Any other questions? Terms. Well, we are all so proud of you guys for signing up. We're so excited for this training to start. Again, feel free to reach out to any of us if you have questions, comments, and sign up for the Facebook. All right. So, uh, is our contact information on in the booklet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so everything should be in here. Uh, in the other packet. Oh, the other packet. Okay. Yeah. So you have if you want to email. As opposed to the Facebook page, you don't want to get to right. so reach out and oh, we'll get to the right person. Yes. Do you remember? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you remember? No. Uh, the, you said free Pilates, like one Pilates session? Or? Correct. Okay. Yes. Great. Yeah. Okay. I, Check it. I think that's great. Yeah. And then the math classes are always with the membership. Yeah, math, so math classes. It's nice great. to go down and that will help you get better at the math classes. So, yep. That's part of the regular membership? Yeah. Oh, so I, didn't that's that. I didn't know that. Oh, I've never gone. Yeah. Oh, you love it. Okay. Mary teaches on Friday morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. But I think, is that work getting in the way? Yeah, probably. Sunday mornings, there's also the Pilates classes. Yeah. Sunday morning? Come on. <laughs> Well, if you go to this network thing, I know. This race is on Sunday. Yeah, that's right. But I didn't sign up early, though. I signed up for the later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys. Have a fantastic day. You didn't get your box just to yeah, yeah, I'll get your box. Thanks, Mayor. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So,